G'day, how you going? Hope you can hear me. Ian Harris here, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my live Q&A, episode number 14. Hmm, getting up there, aren't we? So this is the 14th show. I'm hoping this mic doesn't pick up the cats there. They're being a bit naughty. Anyway, um, let's get on with this show. And um, I want you to check out the links in the description below. There's about half a dozen there. And there's quite a few that'll um, that'll help you out just knowing what I have in my content, okay? Um, and while, while you're looking at that, I'm just getting uh, my video set up here so as I can put the links in the description below because at the moment they're not right there, but they will be soon. <laughs> and there's links for my art for sale. Now, I do like to promote my art to be bought because that's what it's all about as well. It's a... Apart from being an artist, it's a sidekick where it can be sold. All right, and um, that helps me out buying all sorts of bits and pieces for my studio, things like that. Okay, so they are in there. I've got the links put in there. I can't read any comments at the moment, but if, you, if you're watching the replay of this live show, uh, do yourself a favour and check the links out and just know it's, it's pretty much like, as an example, me, I'm a guy, I have a channel, and pretty much the links are like, well, what's in his cupboard? What's he got? So you open up the cupboard and, or open up the fridge. You know, you're coming over to someone's house and what do you got? So you open up the fridge or the cupboard. Well, that's pretty much the way I look at the links in the description below there. What's in my cupboard or in my fridge? And it's what I can offer you, all right? So um, that's just a... Um, uh, bit of insight I can give you. Now, that's been saved. Now, I've got to... Get on here. I'll just turn the volume sound so we down so we don't get any feedback, and I can start reading your questions. So, like this Friday night live, it's all Q and A. It's where you get involved, and later on in the show, I had a good idea from a a, a patron of mine, Heather Nickel. Uh, she says, "Why don't you get um, patrons to send in a." picture of their painting and it's something you can bring up on the live show so that's going to happen today and that was all uh, because Heather Nicole brought it to my attention I thought you know what that's a bloody good idea you can all hear me very well Tammy Biddle yay I made good stuff Tammy Amelia hello Amelia Tammy um, uh, Rose where, 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 where are we hello Rose Hi, every, hi Ian and everyone. Yes, don't just say hello to me. You all do it, but hello to everyone as well. Howdy, Ian from Texas, says Vicky Legali. Hello, Vicky Legali from Texas. Glad you can join the show there. I'm coming down the list slowly but surely. Good evening from the USA, says Tammy Drowen. Carol Cliffords, hi everyone from North Carolina. G'day, Carol Cliffords. Welcome to the show. Tammy Sharp, g'day, Tammy Sharp. I've got to get back to Tammy Sharp in a minute because she's had a bit of a, not an iffy moment, but a moment where something had to be replaced, all right? So I'll get back to that, so I'll touch base with that. Um, great friend, says Tammy Sharp. Hi, everyone. Good idea, says Tammy Sharp. Good morning from Geraldton, says Barry Redburn. Good morning again from Geraldton. It's great to have people here in my own state on board and watching the show. As a, well, I know 90% of them are overseas, but it's, it's always a nice feeling when I see someone from my own state joining in. It's great stuff. So Barry, good on you. I hope you can join in every week. Uh, Angela Young, hello Ian. Members, hope all are well, shared and liked. Yeah, don't forget, uh, what have we got? How many viewers have we got? 24. Give yourself a moment to hit the like button and share. That's for the people watching this live show. And if you're watching the uh, replay of this live show, well, also be sure to give it the thumbs up and write a comment down below if you want to ask me something like Heather Nicole did about giving me uh, an idea about my show, adding the patrons' paint paintings in there. That'll be coming up later on in the show. And if you have any ideas, comment below or just comment and say, what a great guy you are, Ian, or whatever, whatever. Okay, that's what it's all about. Um, Sharon Blankenship, hello Sharon Blankenship, Lillian Hatfield, hello from Cobtown in Georgia. Uh, Laura Berryman, or Beerman, sorry, hi Ian across the world. Um, Tammy Sharp saying hello to everybody. Hello from Toowoomba, Queensland, from John Mold Moldenew. I, I pronounced that before one time right, but I'm, I'm losing it again. 
Moldovanu, Moldovanu, anyway, he knows who I'm talking about. Rose High from Louisiana, Alan Chancery. Gee, that's amazing. I did a job just last week in Chancery Lane. That's the name of the road. But anyway, Alan Chancery, howdy from Wild Fork, Alabama. Goddamn Alabama. All you Americans got Alabama, Louisiana, New Orleans names, eh? They're all going down in Alabama. Anyway, uh, Maria, Maria, very long name there. Good night, Ian. Yeah, a lot of people call me Lan, L-A-N, but they must think the capital I is an L. But it is Ian, I-A-N, I-A-N. What else have we got? Good morning. Good to see you again. You're talking so sexy, says Tammy Sharp. Thank you, Tammy Sharp. Um, hi, Ian from Edmonton. Alberta, Canada, Tammy Sharp, no, Tammy Biddle, Tammy Sharp, lol, he does, okay, there's a couple of Tammy's got it going on there, that's good stuff, I like it when you get it going on with each other as well, you know, I'm not the only one that's going to answer all these questions that come out, um, if someone's saying something, you're more than welcome to help them out as well, okay, because we're a community here, all right, we're a community, and if you're watching the replay, like I said, you can answer some questions down below in the comments section. Hey, Ian, just called me Melon, uh, John Moldy. Oh, that's right, yeah, Moldy. Hey, Ian, just call me John, just call me Moldy. So John Molander Menu is, he's just going to be nicknamed Moldy. As you know, as in Moldy Cheese, but a Moldy Cheese is a class cheese. It's elegant, it's high price. So it's not a bad thing there, John, Mr. Moldy. You're welcome, Brian Moore. Brian Moore, can you do a firework celebration painting tutorial? Something I can look into there, Brian. Tammy Sharp, laugh out loud. Angela Young, wow, I lived in Toowoomba, visited my son every now and then. John Molden and the, or Moldy, she's talking to Moldy there. Uh, Brenda Lowen, hi Ian, so glad Steve is home. Yes, I'm so glad he's home too. Uh, when he comes in here I'll pull him up and just remember this is a super chat super chat for those people only that are watching the live broadcast there is a dollar sign down at the bottom of the uh, chat bar there and that allows you to click on that and donate to me uh, support me in my ways and there's a slide bar when you click on it and you can adjust it to the amount you want to send my way via your visa debit card okay that's for people that like to get involved it doesn't mean you all have to and if you cannot don't feel left out it's not like that at all it's just that some people like to because there were some people out there that told me I should do a super chat and I didn't even know what it was until they told me I thought okay if it's what you want I put that there I've enabled it so if you ever want to Send a donation, hit that dollar sign down where you type in your message there, and away things can go. That's why it's called a super chat. Uh, support, he's great, says Tammy Sharp. Yeah, now about Tammy Sharp, Tammy Sharp, she's a lovely artist. She holds classes there in Ohio somewhere. Oh, it could be Dayton or somewhere there. I'm not sure of the actual part. Anyway, she's an artist, and she's a great lady. We're good friends, as I am good friends with a lot of you. And... Um, Poor sod's gone and go and had to have a knee restriction, hasn't she? Yeah, so she's got some foreign bodies in her knee. Uh, she's recovering slowly but surely. And um, yeah, it's not something we want, but unfortunately she, she needed it. And it's hers forever and ever. Amen. So that's good stuff. So all's the best to you and your knee, Tammy Sharp. And I hope you heal a lot quicker than you need to and you'll be up walking. She did tell me she's able to put some weight on it, but it's a little bit painful so she's just got to do slow so slow steps surely slowly but surely okay what do we got there 36 people so hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber of mine and if you are a subscriber but you're always missing the show and you can't work out why there's a little bell next to the where you do subscribe when you hit that bell that notifies you in your device or on your email that I'm live or I've just uploaded a video, okay? We'll get to these paintings in a minute too. Uh, I live in Ohio too, says Tammy Biddle. There's a couple of Tammies in Ohio there. Down by the banks on the Ohio. Olivia Newton-John sings that song. It's about the Ohio River where the water flows. I'm not a singer though. <laughs> Down by the banks of the Ohio. 
Anyway, we'll get back to here. Uh, Brenda Lowe, and I have a picture of Sunset with Railroad Tracks. Bet you can do it. Probably can too. Uh, Loretta. G'day, Loretta Arts. Hello there from North Carolina. Deborah Lang, love your accent. I just recently started watching your videos. Thank you, Deborah Lang. Well, I'll just let you know that keep an eye on the subjects, uh, the links in the description below because I have over 250 video tutorials in my video catalogue. So get familiar with my playlist. All my tutorials are for sale. Add me as a friend on Facebook if you want to message me direct. Uh, but be sure to tell me you've met me on YouTube so I can accept your friend request. And what else is there? Um, I do have a Patreons platform where people support my content and they pledge money to me every month. It's only a couple of dollars, a dollar or whatever they like every month. And these super chats allows you to donate within the chat. So there is a dollar sign below. You can click that, slide the bar, and send however much you want to give to my way, okay? And that helps support me buy stuff for my art studio. All right, let's get back onto some more subjects. Um, Gonzo, g'day, Gonzo. He's saying hello to me, and I'm saying hello to you, Gonzo. G'day, mate. How are you? Here you go. Good morning from Sydney, Sylvia. Where'd that go? It's gone. So Latin lady. Sylvia Latin ladies from Sydney. I was born in Sydney. I forget which hospital, St. Mary's or Blacktown, somewhere there, but I was born there and then I grew up in Perth. Uh, my paintings don't make the cut, says Gonzo. I don't know why you would say that. Um, everyone's painting makes a cut. If you're happy with your paintings, that's all that matters. Painting's not a contest. And if you had fun painting a painting and you're happy with it, that's all that bloody matters, all right. So where we going? Slow down, people. I'd, I'd, li I'd like to acknowledge everybody. S. Roman, Sharon Blankenship. You sing good, Ian. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, hello, love your paintings. Brenda Lowen. Everybody give Ian thumbs up. Yes, give me the thumbs up for those people on the live show now. Look at that. Angela Young has just put in a donation there. Thank you for your teaching and live chats, Ian, she says. Angela Young, thank you very much for that donation there. She hit the live super chat dollar sign down below and it's that easy, okay? The, all that money goes into my content there and I use it for buying a tube of paint or some other brush or masking tape or a just, bit more gesso when I run out of gesso. I only use gesso to paint my easel black. As you notice in my videos, it's all black. It gets paint over it and every... Um, after every tutorial when I'm cleaning up, it's repainted black again, so it looks neat for the next go. There we go, Gonzo's just made a donation. Thank you very much, Gonzo. And he's saying thank you, no, thank for all you do. You're welcome, Gonzo, and thank you for your support. It is much appreciated, my friend. Now, later on in this show, I'm gonna bring up some of my patrons' paintings that they've sent to me, because I wanna acknowledge my patrons as well. So, um, you're more than welcome to let me know, Ian, I am a patron of yours and here's a painting for your live show. That's all you need to do. If you want to add extra, you can. And because in my live shows, it's just a, an area where I can say, here's such and such as painting. Look at that, blah, blah, blah. But we're gonna, it's going to be interesting when I do bring it up. They're going to be on my iPad, so there could be a bit of a glare problem. I don't have another computer and a splitter box to split cameras up or screen recording so I can show it that way, unfortunately. Um, but you'll be able to see their paintings anyway. Good morning, everybody, says Carolyn Butfield. Deborah Lang is given the thumbs up and Carolyn Butfield has put the thumbs up as well. Heather Nicole, hi Ian, looking forward to your review on the paintings. Yes, so are my patrons. Glad you thought it was a good idea. It was a very good idea, Heather. Great and wonderful, so it's going to use. And when you give me good ideas, or good subjects to paint, they get used, okay? Don't think, oh, it's just, like this painting down here, this was sent in by Vicky, some, I can't remember, Vicky Hammond by memory, I think, and it was a sunset one, it's on, it's on Joe Paul Lake in Texas, and I thought, that's beautiful, that's perfect, it's, that can be used. Uh, Heather Nicole said, why don't you do this with patrons' paintings on the live show, and I thought, you know what? That's a bloody good idea, so that's why that's getting used. So you can comment 
below if you're watching the replay of this live video and if you have any ideas you want for my live shows, by all means, write them down, okay? Don't be shy. And remember to hit that dollar sign below if you want to send in a donation because this is a super chat, all right? And it helps me out greatly. All right, let's get on there. Gonzo, wow, wow, Emron, are you hitting on the on our guru? Says something. Oh, oh, good morning, everybody. So Gonzo's just put in a donation. Thank you very much. Now Sylvia Latin lady, she's just gave us a donation. Love your tutorials. I've got to keep the show going. Okay. Uh, let's get back to some of the questions there. I mixed, where are we? Sil well, I was thanking Sylvia Latin Lady for her donation. Thank you very much. Carol Cliffords, I mixed primary cow while I'm in the middle of a live chat. Otherwise, it'll turn the camera off and the whole show stops. I want to keep the momentum going. Um, I mixed primary colours, but want to buy a green that would work most everything. What colour should I buy? Um... I've gone for forest green with that. Other people might have other ideas, but I use Fads, you as a friend. Send him a message and in the bottom of the chat left where you type your message to him is an image of a picture. Click on it and attach your picture. Yes, some people don't know how to send a picture to me. You send it in Messenger and... Um, in the message where you type, down the bottom, you can add a file, add a photo. That's where you add your photo. Go to your photo, add it there, and send it to me. And that's where if you're a patron of mine and you want to send me a painting, <coughs> or if you're just an avid follower and you want some advice or you want your painting critiqued, send it to me as well. Janice Burns, I read that one. Gonzo, Ian, are these ladies only painting... Only, only paintings you will go on over this week? Are these only paintings? Ian, hang on, let me say that again. I don't know where I saw ladies there. Ian, are these the only paintings you'll be going over this week? No, I'll be going over these ones here and the ones that were sent in by patrons. I'm not sure what you're meaning there, Gonzo, but I'll be going over the ones that were sent in by patrons and the ones in the background here. Because as you know, they're in order. That's the next tutorial then that's the next one coming out, then the week after is that one, and that one there's already out, but it's just a gap fill, it's just filling in the gap down there, okay? That's why it's down the bottom. So thank you very much, Sylvia's Latin lady, for your donation. Donation there. Um, time for me to rest. Talk soon, says Tammy Sharp. Okay, you take care, Tammy. She's got to rest her knee. She's just taking it very easy, okay? So all the best to you, Tammy Sharp. Thank you for joining the show. Uh, hey there, Janice, says Angela Young. Hi, Ange. Uh, Paula. Paula Neary. Good evening, Ian. I missed a couple of Friday nights with you, so I'm so glad I'm catching up this Friday. You're welcome there. What have we got there? I'll just move the camera a little bit so I can see. The person I forgot to block, and he won't stop ringing. Anyway, carry on with the show regardless. Uh, I live in Santa Barbara. I think you should visit me and paint the ocean here. Well, that can happen, uh, Paul and Nancy, but if so long as you get me there and I've got the time, we can make it happen, all right? It's that easy. Gonzo, I sent a few. I was just wondering if you were going to critique any of mine. That's all, sir. Just curious. Now, I'll get to them. I've, I've saved two of yours because I've had to put all the photos that came through in a particular album. That way, when I'm showing everyone, I can scroll them across in order. And I'm just virtually going to show your painting. It's not really a critique about your painting, but if you want critiquing, you can send me a pain painting and I can critique that. Um, okay, it's just to show people your art and acknowledge you that you're an artist and people get to see your work on my show as well. It's giving a, probably going out to a different platform as well, okay? Uh, Bev Sowers, hi Ian. Don't have any electric for a while, but it's back up so I can see you. Good stuff, Bev Sowers. Uh, Bev Sowers, which one are you in? You are in the, you keep a lookout for this boat. Now, I'm a bit worried. This phone call, I think it's put my 4G off. Just, if you can, I've got to refresh this page. So it's resuming the same feed, hopefully. I'll click play there. 
Okay, volume's down. Now I don't know why the um, picture quality's gone so bad. Is the picture, uh, if someone can tell me, uh, internet, okay, it's his phone. Yes, I had to, crikey, crikey, says guy, Mike Fuller. Yes, I had to, I blocked several people before I came on live because the possibility of them ringing, and the one that I didn't block was trying to ring, and he wouldn't stop ringing, so I had to stop that, so we were able to resume, luckily, so that's great. And then when I finish, I can unblock those people so they don't interrupt the show because you can't help that. And you, you know, anyway, uh, good pick. Um, so it's Moldy. Moldy's there. We all know he's gone. And Gonzo, we are. When are you going to paint spaceships so can go travelling? Lost. We're back. We're back. Hopefully, you can see that we're back. Um, not bad. My end. Now I'm going to get to the part. So if you if you want acknowledgement, slow down on your comments there. You can send the the super chat dollar sign. You can hit that and send some donation my way if you like. Because I'm going to show the patrons paintings, and I'm not going to be able to acknowledge questions at the same time. So I'll just get used to. If you like, you can slow down on if you want to ask me anything because it'll get missed. And I like to see what you are asking. Uh, I sent you a Facebook message a while back, traceable cabin, you just did. Okay, now I'm going to go on my iPhone here and just open up the paintings that the Patreon sent in so we can have a look there and acknowledge their artwork. So I'll go to the beginning. So at the moment, uh, let's go to albums there, I'll get it all set up here. Uh, iCloud hasn't been updated, so what? Okay, so we'll go there. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's only eight at this stage, but it's early days. So during the week, if you like, if you're watching the replay of this and you're a friend of mine on Facebook, send me a picture in my messenger. Um, get rid of that notification. Send me a picture you want me to bring up on my live shows, okay? But you need to be a patron. I'm only doing it for the patrons. Uh, that support me a bit on my patron page and if you're not a patron well there's there's a link in the description below hit the patron link and it'll take you to my page and there's a orange tab where you hit that and you become a patron you just sign up and you're supporting me by a dollar or more a month every month okay all right so let's get a now let's see if we can get these so they're not going to be too glary so i'll get this out of the case because the case is one of those foldy cases and it can be a bit fumbly so let's have a look here which is the best way to go now I'll, i'm going to stand up for this so just so you can see. now this one is from I've, I've, I've written some names on them let's see if we can get the glare out of there this is from janice burns she's a patron of mine so thank you very much, Janice Burns. That's a sunset with a boat and a side path there. Very nice. This, this glass iPad is not doing it justice because the skies are beautiful. Let's go to the next one. Uh, she done a self-portrait as well, okay? So, yeah, it's a bit hard to get the glare. I think that's not too bad. So that's Janice's Burns self-portrait. She sent two in. Um, who's this one from? Let me get on there. Uh, oh, this is from Sharon Blankenship, and it was a painting she did where it's just looking at Hawaii. Okay, beautiful, beautiful painting there. Okay, it's got a good foreground, good background, and obviously the tree. Okay, the next one is Gonzo. Gonzo's got some beautiful work. I don't know if you can see that. He's got dew drops on this leaf and a ladybird. Absolutely beautiful works, Steve Gonzo. And there's another one there that I... He sent me that, and I thought, wow, that's a great painting. Then he sent me a few more, and out of the few more he sent, I had to keep this one here. Why I like this one, I don't know if you can see it, you probably cannot. Oh, there you go. It's got a subtle moon, but it's so sharp. He's got some birds hovering over here, over the surface of the water, just enough to cast a shadow on the water. The shadow of the boat's magnificent. The whole painting... It's one of those paintings, either you like the subject or you don't. I bloody love it. So good on you, Steve Gonzo. And this one's from Tammy Biddle. She did one of my tutorials. Very good for a beginner there. She's um, got
got everything going on there. She's got the reflections. Okay, so she's Tammy Biddle. That's one of the, that was just mine showing a tutorial she done on detail. Who's this one from? Now this is from John Damento. John Damento. Let's try and get the, the light off this. It's a, where are we? It's a, it's a mountain and a lake scene. It's the paint, the, the, photo, the photo itself was a little bit on the blurry side, so it's going to be probably a bit worse showing through here, but we get by, you can see what it is. It's got some beautiful clouds. The clouds have got flat bottoms on them. Um, great stuff. A lot of people, if when you don't put flat bottoms on the clouds, they end up going upwards. And was that it? Oh, no, Jennifer Sheldon, she did a, look at this cat. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just trying to get the glare out. But that's, a, that's one, odd, that must be her cat, she didn't say. You can give me details about your painting when you send them through, or you don't have to. I think that's it. That's it. So that's all the photos from my patrons there. Okay. Beautiful. All right, now I can get back to acknowledge you all. So where are we going there? You could have talked amongst yourself, which I hope you did. You're great people, eh? The, the, the art, the art, what do you call it? The art group page is going wonderful. Great reviews on there. Everyone's been obviously a good person. Obviously on some other um, forums, people are naughty anyway. Um, awesome Gonzo, beautiful sailboat. Thank you, Ian, for the kind words about my painting. You're welcome, Karen. Sharon Blankenship, Gonzo. Thanks, Ian. I had a good teacher. Good stuff. Angela Young says, good job, Tammy. Tammy Biddle, Angela Young, nice. John, okay. Uh, this is also a way, what I'm doing here, it gets used to be more familiar with each other as well. So it's just not all of you separately watching and following me. Use it intertwining with each other as well and create a... a relationship between each other as well besides me and that's what I love about my followers my platforms where I've got a following and an audience I love that happening it's fantastic okay so Janice Burns thank you for showing our art Ian you are welcome Janice Burns good stuff thank you for bringing it in and remember next week next live show if you're a patron send in some different artwork if you've already sent some in, send a different one in. And um, be sure that you are a patron of mine. And if you're not, you're welcome to become a patron. There's a link in the description below. Now, I want to acknowledge the new patrons that came on board last week. Uh, they were Paul Wren. Well, actually, Paul Wren wasn't a... Um, he wasn't a patron, but I wrote his name down here because on my YouTube channel, one of the links there is a donate link where you can buy a painting of mine, you can use that to buy a painting, or you can just simply donate me money to help with my content. Well, he was kind enough just to click on that and send me a donation, okay? So that was from Paul Wren, thank you very much. Carolyn Watson became a patron of mine last week, and Linda Drewecki, Drewecki, thank you very much, Linda and Carolyn, for jumping on board my Patreons page. Um, where are we? Now, in the art group that I have going there, I love what you are doing. You are supporting everybody, which is great, and you are having fun. And like I do say, don't be shy. Get some pictures of yourself up there as well as your art so we know who's doing this art. And it makes it more of, like I said, a close-knit community. Everyone's knowing each other, okay? So don't be shy about that. And there are rules and regulations, as every group does have, so at the top there, Mark Babbitt's helped me out with that. So hats off to Mark. Uh, get yourself familiar with those rules and regulations. Okay, and you can, I was telling Jeff just the other day, if, if you want to sell, if you're a beginner and you want to sell your art, put it up there for sale as well. The only thing is I, I wouldn't appreciate professional people coming on board, marketing their products there on my page, or I suppose anyone wouldn't like that. But uh, if you're just a, um, a, a beginner and, you know, someone wants to buy your art and you're so chuffed that someone did, put it on the page and say, I just sold this. I have others for sale if somebody wants to buy my art. I'm a beginner and I did whatever, whatever. Get, these create um, chats and conversations and topics on the channel there, okay? And um, also, 
for you beginners, whether it's my work or somebody else's work or a photograph of somebody's, credit that person if you use their work as a reference, okay? Just so we know where the actual subject came from as well. All right, what else have we got going here? You're welcome, happy families because of you, says Janice Burns. Thank you for sharing our art, read that one. Gonzo, the sailboat I did recently, I didn't know I shared that one, Ian's art page. I like it a little. I like it, I like it quite a lot. No, I, I, I remember seeing that one quite a while back too, Gonzo there, so yeah. Please, Ian, don't sell the Bob Ross painting. That one I was in, whack it on a frame on. I love it, so I can't wait to put it up. Okay, I've got that on hold for you, but some other people have been asking for it, so it's there for you, but if you do change your mind, uh, please let me know so I can let these other people have it okay, which is this top one up here. That one, Angela Young features in that video telling me it's time to whack a frame on it. And in this one here, the boathouse, who's featuring on that one? Beverly Sowers will be featuring on that one, okay? And if you ever want to feature in my videos, my YouTube tutorials, you have to do it on Facebook. Message me on Facebook. We'll have a call and um, I can tell you how easy and simple it is, okay, if you want that to happen. And anyone that does feature in my YouTube videos, they get credited and um, yeah, so people will know that you're in it before they're watching it, all right? How many have we got there? 28 people. Good stuff. We've been going for half an hour. I tell you what, my coffee's been here and I haven't had one bloody sip. That's, my goodness. You know when it's a great cuppa, you know when you slurp a cuppa, right? Fair enough, you might slurp it. When the, but when the slurp keep go, keeps going, it must be a bloody beautiful one. Oh, that was a big long slurp. That means it was a beauty. Anyway, that, that's a beautiful cup of coffee I've got that going there. If you're at home and in a comfortable position, I hope you can have your kettle on and your cup of go coffee going. So Angela Young, I've acknowledged that. I'm holding it for you, but I cannot hold it forever though. But I do realise you have to wait, so I'm understandable of that as well. But if for some reason you change your mind, let me know so I can let these other people know it's available. Janice Burns, welcome Carolyn. Tim, there's another name. Tim, Tim from Illinois. Do you ever paint panoramic pictures i i haven't yet but i'm going to not in my tutorials though i just keep them to the normal a3 size uh but i found an a3 i mean a panoramic frame from the second hand shop and fortunately one of my leftover panels is i when i cut my sheet up to make my uh, canvas panels the leftovers i get two panoramic shapes out of it and i found a frame that suits it and then uh, I love, if anything, a beautiful ocean, beach, cliff, watery scene. They suit the panoramic layouts. So if I do do that, I'll see if I can film it, but it won't be a tutorial. Uh, I won't change my mind. It's going to be mine very first ever bought painting. Okay, yeah, that's great, Angela. Well, yes, I'm keeping it for you, so just remember it's there. When the video is released, the painting will be released for people to look at as well, okay? And for those people who do buy my painting, I take a personalized photograph of myself with the painting and a little something to you mentioning your name and I autograph it with my signature and Steve's foot. It's a bit of a personalization with you and the painting. So um, you've bought a painting of mine You've got a personalized photograph with it. It's labeled on the back. Every painting's labeled on the back. So if you ever want to go to YouTube and watch that actual painting that you purchased being created, you can look up the hashtag number of that painting and by all means go and watch it, okay? And the ones that buy my paintings that feature in them, they've just got that added bonus because they're actually in the video. So they've got like three hits with it, all right? They've got the actual painting that they like. They feature in the video. And um, what was the other one? Oh, geez, I've got that many things on my mind. I've forgotten about it now. Uh, they can look it up and watch themselves. And they get the personalised photograph. That's the third one of me with the painting. Okay, so they could say, I'm in that video. Yes, you are. Uh, I've got that painting. There it is. And here's him himself with the personalised photograph with the painting to me. So 
uh, it's just something I can create and give to you people. Uh, wow, these messages are going up qu quick. Hey, kind of late for me here. Sorry about that, Angie. Um, of course, Sharon, too hot for coffee. I'm having a spamoli in a waffle cone. Good, Carol. Carol Clifford's having a spamoli in a spamoni in a waffle cone. I'm teaching painting tomorrow. We'll post the pictures, says Sharon Blankenship. Good stuff. We'll look forward to that, Sharon. I have hot spanomi in such a long time, says Gonzo. Love them. I've never heard of a spamoni. Wouldn't even know what it is. Cracker box. Damn, I just got the notification not paying attention. It says Cracker Box. Okay, well, you've got the notification now. Karen Porridge. Ian, when I go to the donate, it says it will be shown public. What it means is this chat going up, it'll show there. Let's just, where, where did you go again? Karen Porridge. It'll say Karen Porridge donated whatever you donated. It, it just goes within the chat. That's okay. It's not going to show all your details or anything like that. Okay. So don't worry there, they've got all that covered there. All these things were looked into before they were released. Uh, so give it another try, Karen, if you like. Um, Bev Sowers, you forgot Steve's print on the earth painting. Someone mentioned that, but I only started putting Steve's footprint in in the last probably, I don't know, maybe year or so. So that was probably a painting done before I was incorporating his foot maybe. And when I did start doing it, it didn't go on every painting consecutively. If sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. But now it's constantly on there because he is a part of my channel, okay? <clears throat> Sharon J just received a free mug and a something of my favourite coffee today. Mail me for email. The company telling me how to get their coffee is... Sorry, I'm off topic here, says Sharon J. I'm sorry I read your, your thing all over the place. See, now there you go. Karen Porridge, thank you very much for your donation there. That's what it means. It'll go public. It means it's showing in the chat there so people can see what you've donated. Okay, so thank you very much. And just remind those other people that this is a super chat. So there is a dollar sign where you down below where you write your comment, or mean your, your chat comment. And you can press on that and slide the bar to the amount you want to donate to me. And it helps me out buying bits and pieces for my art studio. Um, and maybe some soap. Cracker box. Or you must have said something earlier to say and maybe some soap. I'm sorry I missed it. Hello, this is Debbie from North Carolina. What do you clean your brushes with? I'm a newbie and loving your videos. Thank you very much, Debbie. Debbie Greer. Uh, this actual painting here, it's not coming out for a few more weeks, but that's going to be tutorial 229. In that one, I actually show where I clean my brush, how I clean my brush, okay? But at the end of my filming, I, I go to the sink and I scrub them in the, the sink there with warm water and f shake the water off. I lay them flat within a thick towel and fold the towel over and press the dampness out. And then I stand them back upside down, excuse me, in a jar. Okay, thank you for your tips, Ian. Use them all the time. You're welcome, Ken Boris. Ken Boris, g'day, Ken Boris. How are you? Thank you for joining. I thought that may be why, says Bev Sowers. Uh, Spamoli is Italian ice cream with flavours, usually chocolate uh, raisins. Oh, okay, it's a bit like the fuck. Fa fa They've got, a, they've got a coffee with the ice cream in it, fagato or something like that. I had that at a friend's place, Italian people. Oh, I love that. It was like coffee with ice cream. Fagato or fagia, something like that anyway. So you people that do know about it would know what I mean, okay? Ian, Spamoli is an Italian spice ice cream. Here we go. <laughs> I'm getting taught all about Spamoli now. Uh, Dorothy, having trouble with the moon I used the round thing you use, it doesn't come out smooth like yours. Um, like yours do. What am I doing wrong? Practice using it then. Um, uh, where are you, Dorothy? Uh, Dorothy Perrett. 
practice loading that up with paint and practice on a surface and getting it the way you will, okay? It requires practice, okay? If no matter what you're painting, let's say you're watching me or somebody else and you're giving it a go and it's not working the way it works for me, it's not working for you, that is your system telling you practice, practice that, get a surface, practice. That's all it is, okay? You're not doing nothing wrong. You just don't probably understand enough to know why it's not happening. And when you practice a lot more, you'll get the feel of the pounces round sponge and you'll know yourself, oh, that, well, that's why it wasn't working before. It's that easy, all right? Italian ice cream, Spear, Italian ice cream, read that one. Having trouble with the moon, read that one. Celeste Watson, thank you very much, Celeste Watson. Celeste Watson, along with Karen Porridge, has just recently sent in a donation. Thank you very much. The super chat is allows people to send in your donations. So thank you very much, Celeste Watson and Karen Porridge there. There were a few earlier on in the show before the we lost the signal. Uh, I know Gonzo was one of them, but oh, here we go. Uh, Sylvia Latin Lady sent in a donation Gonzo sent me uh, Steve Gonzo he sent me a donation and Angela Young the lovely Angela Young from Queensland Australia okay those of you who don't know where I'm from I'm from the west coast of Australia which is the capital city is Perth that's where I live eh uh, where are we I'm getting ready to try and paint the earth and moon because someone loves it so much what kind of sponge should i cut shapes out of where do you get it from i got mine from the back of dumpsters at a furniture shop where they make lounges but it's up to you where you can find your sponge from uh, watch my video a couple of times and see what i'm using in it and work out what you've got to get and wherever you are you'll have to try and source out those things you know a painting can take uh, an hour, a day, a week, a month, or years to create. Like you want that earth painting, all right? You don't probably have nothing for it. So you've got to, first step, go and watch my tutorial, how I've done it, and write down what you need. And what you have is great, and what you don't, you've got to go and source it. And when you started watching my big video, that's the beginning of you starting your painting. And it could take several weeks before you get everything to finally get the painting done, but that's okay. There's no rush into having a piece of art completed okay it's up to you how long it takes and the more time you put into it the better it is in the end there's no rush okay i wash with dish soap yes that's good enough i hope it's okay it's fine me too tammy i use dawn cracker box is smiling linda strawn ian do you finish your paintings with a sealer so if so which one do you use linda from idaho I use a gloss varnish and a spray can. I just get it from the art shop. I don't know the brand of it. Um, all of these have been varnished, okay? Um, because I know they're finished. Um, if you're not sure your painting's finished, I wouldn't bother varnishing it. I really wouldn't because there's probably times where you can look at it and add some more detail or shadow, okay? But once you've varnished it, you pretty much can't do that. I mean, you can but you got to sand back the area to do it for the paint to stick and then paint the whole thing again okay um bye gonzo looks like gonzo's going another great live show ian gotta go my brother good night all right good night gonzo all the best to you bye janice okay everyone's saying goodbye to gonzo uh he uses spray to seal them yes yes so i use a spray varnish in a can and it's a gloss i mean if anything it comes out satiny they're not like real glary so it's fine um yeah um chow cracker box i'm out now good stuff any questions feel free to ask me i want to acknowledge those new patrons once again that join my patron platform carolyn watson thank you very much for supporting my content and linda drewecki thank you very much and paul wren he 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 obviously watched the replay or was on last week's live, but there's a link below. It's a donate link where you can use that to purchase a painting of mine or just simply donate to me and support my content. Okay, so thank you very much to Paul Wren, Carolyn Watson and Linda Drewecki. All right, um, no paintings were sold last week, not to worry, but um, this I'm all about promoting my art as well. So all my paintings are for sale. Whatever tutorial you see of mine, they're available for 
sale. And to find out which ones are available, go to the link below and it says art for sale. That'll take you to an album in my Facebook what, which paintings are available. And then you just simply message me and tell me which one you want. And they're all done through PayPal payment, okay? So if you have a PayPal, great. If you don't, you'll have to set one up or maybe use a family member or a friend's PayPal, okay? And the prices, uh, that includes the painting shipped to your door. And at the moment, there's 69 US dollars, okay? That includes all the shipping and handling, all right? Okay, um, what have we got there? Everyone's still saying goodbye to Gonzo, 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 Gonzo. Gonzo, you're taking over me bloody show, mate. You've already racked off and they're still going on about you. That's all right. Anyway, so yeah, I'm here for questions. Uh, we've been going for 45 minutes. I normally keep it going an hour. Sometimes I dribble over an hour. Um, yeah, and this is, this is a show I do once a week where I like to connect with my subscribers and followers and members of art group and patron pages of mine. And it's where we can get to know each other, help each other out here, and talk amongst yourselves as well, okay? Bev Sowers, thank you very much, Bev. You've just sent in a donation. This is a super chat. Bev Sowers has just sent in a donation. And any of those newcomers along, it's just a dollar sign there. Hit that, slide the bar, and send the amount you want to send me. Uh, that is only for the live show. So we're in the live show now. But if you're watching the replay, there is a donate link below. You can always use that and send me something if you like, okay? Carol Cliffords, I put a drop of detergent in my water jar for my brushes while painting and rinse them and wipe them on a towel um, when I need it again. I hope it's not hurting my paintings. I wouldn't think so. Um, if it's, you, you're using, uh, obviously, acrylic paints. A bit of soapy water is not going to hurt. If anything, it's just going to act as a medium with if there's some contamination there. Okay. So I wouldn't worry about that. Beverly, you're doing all right. If you can help it, try not to wipe them on a towel constantly. When I've done all my washing, I wash them in one tub of water and then rinse them in another. When I've done that, you know, if they're a big enough brush, I'll give it a shake. And then you lay it between two towels and just push the moisture out. And that's the best thing. It's, you know, like when you normally drop something on carpet, spilt some liquid on carpet, you get a towel and you, you dampen the moisture out instead of rubbing it. Same with your brushes. That's how I dry my brushes if I want them dried quicker. Hi, everyone. R Rhode Island, USA here, says Susan Jank or Janky. Cracker Box Palace is laughing there. Uh, don't think a little will hurt. No. I'm so happy Kat came back. Yes, Steve is back. It's great. He's back at home. Hello, Susan, says Cracker Box. Uh, who we got here? Kalina Tish. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce your last name. Also, congrats, Weiss. I saw his stats. Okay, um, you'll have to let me know what stats you're on about because he's, he's, he's involved in a few things there, but it could be the stats of his Formula One racing. He was into that last night, so that might have been what you're on about. But thank you very much. I'll let him know that. Uh, thank you once again, Beverly Sowers, for your donation there in this super chat. Uh, Celeste Watson, thank you very much. Karen Porridge, I want to thank you for your donation in this super chat. Uh, there was Angela Young and Sylvia Satin Lady. No, Latin Lady and Steve Gonzo. All those people sent in a donation in this super chat. Thank you very much. Ian, can you go through your paintings behind you? Good, good question, I can do that. On when you will be up and the tutorial numbers, please. And thank you in advance. Okay, so if you've got a pen and paper, write it down. These are up and coming tutorials. I'll grab them in order. Okay, I'm fully dressed today. Okay, I've just got me um, blazer and a shirt on today. This will be tutorial 227. It's the um, tribute to Bob Ross. He did an evening at sunset. So this is my version of it in acrylics. Okay. Um, that will be tutorial 227. And that is featuring Angela Young from Queensland telling me when it's time to whack a frame on it. Uh, then tutorial 228. Hang on a minute before we get to that one. This one. That... 
Evening at Sunset is number 227, and that'll be released on Monday, Tuesday, my time next week. Uh, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but today's Friday night, Saturday, so a few more days that'll be released. And the same time every week, I'm releasing a new video uh, tutorial. Thank you very much, Cracker Box, for your donation there. Much appreciated. Mwah. Love you lots. Love you all lots. Love you all lots. Okay, so now tutorial 228 will be the boathouse. And this is featuring Beverly Sowers telling me it's time to whack a frame on it. Uh, okay, so Beverly Sowers, I'll give you the opportunity to purchase that first out of anybody, but if you don't want it, that's fine. It'll be open for anyone else to purchase. Okay, so that's number 228, the boathouse in Crawley Bay, Perth, Swan River. Uh, it's a good subject. It's a nice painting to have in the background, and if it's in the background of a photo, it's distinctive. That's what I like about some paintings, all right? And the next tutorial after that will be 229, which is a... Someone sent in this photo. Uh, I'll put all the proper details when it's released, and that is in Joe Pool Lake in Prairie, Texas. It was taken from... And the lady, Vicky Hammond, I think it was, she said, here's a beautiful photo. I get so many photos from people, but when this one came in, I thought, you know what? That has elements I can teach a beginner, and that's why I use it. Unfortunately, every subject can't get used, okay? Oh, I have that, Linda. We'll try it. Nice painting. I love 229. Amazing. That, that must be this one here. Uh, I don't post them on Facebook until the time the video has been released. That way it coincides with the video. And like I said, they're all for sale, okay? The ones that do feature people in them telling me to whack a frame on it, they have first choice to buy it. And if they don't need it or just don't want it or whatever, uh, it's, it's up for sale, okay? And like I said, every painting I sell gets a personalized autograph photograph of me uh, acknowledging you in the photograph as well, along with the painting that you're purchasing as well. So there's a bit more personalization going on between you, me, the painting and the purchase, okay? So thank you very much, Cracker Box, for your donation there. This is a super chat. Hit the dollar sign, slide the bar, and send how much you want to send through, and it helps me buy bits and pieces for my art studio. Okay, let's get on to some more acknowledgement and conversations here. I love 229 Amazing, says Susan Jananke. Poor Neary, the boathouse is absolutely gorgeous. Now, for those people, you can go on your Google image. It, go to Google and then go up the top and hit images. So it's going to show images, whatever you type through. And just type in Perth Boathouse. And so many thousands of photographs of that boathouse will come up. That's just one. I did a digital painting of it and I use that as my um, reference. Uh, a lot of people stand on that jetty, have their wedding photos taken. Just all through the week, people are lining up there getting their photos taken. It's just a great platform and a backdrop for any photograph. It's probably the most photographed house in Perth, if not Australia, besides the government house or the opera house. But it's very popular here in Perth, Crawley Bay on the Swan River. Okay, that boathouse, absolutely gorgeous. Read that one. Oh, yes, I would love to buy it. Get paid in two weeks if you are okay. Wait till then. That's okay, Beverly, because that's not going to be released until Tuesday week. Okay, it won't be released till then. I'm, I'm getting a video up every Monday or Tuesday, but the one coming out next is the the evening at sunset of Bob Ross. Then that one the week after. Then that one the week after. That one's already out. It's just a gap filler. That's why he's down the bottom there. <laughs> I guess I would love to get that. I've read that one. Genevieve, uh, the boathouse painting is really nice. I love it. Thank you very much. Susan Wilson, hello from uh, Rodoso. Uh, Cracker Box, hello Susan. Susan Jananke, hello Cracker Box. Um, Genevieve, hello. Uh, Tammy Biddle, do you? I don't know if this was addressed. Can you do traceable for patrons, especially for when you do buildings, birds. I have traceables, but I can't just keep them limited to my patrons because I have over 65,000 followers here on YouTube and I'm here to teach beginners how to paint and some of those require traceables. So the traceables are open for everybody. 
Now, if you want a traceable of mine, simply message me in Facebook and tell me, listen, I need traceable, whatever, or just give me your traceable, whatever. I've got a file there ready to go, so when people do ask for them, I just click it and send it, and they'll give them all my traceables, okay? So they're available for everybody. Uh, it's a bit unfair just to keep them open for the few patrons that I have, because my YouTube channel is for everybody. Uh, but I'm trying to come up with ideas for patrons like um, Heather Nicole came up with about sending your paintings in and I show them on the live show I can show them again as well um, but that's only for patrons okay Tammy message him on Facebook says cracker box he will email you the traceable well I don't email I just send them back in a message with a, a picture file you I just send you all the ones relating to my YouTube videos okay so some people have been they're asking for a traceable of a cabin, but they get hit with about 20 traceable. Whoa, but they got them all. They don't need to ask again. Um, he will meet, he has read that one, was trying to be stingy. It wasn't trying to be stingy. That's all right, Tammy Biddle. I don't take, I've got a sense of humor there. Angela Young, thank you, Ian. I appreciate it. Don't forget, people give thumbs up and share this live show. Yeah, give me the thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you're watching the replay, stop and give it the thumbs up as well. Okay, I'm just going to quickly go through our patron paintings again, just to get these up there. So here's one from Janice Burns, which is a sunset on a lake. That she done a self-portrait. Whoop, whoopsity, whoopsity. They're a bit hard to see. I'm sorry because it's a glass. It's a glass screen. We've got Sharon Blankenship there looking at Hawaii. She's put in there. Love the water. Love the depth. Okay. Now that's from Steve Gonzo. He's done dewdrops on a leaf with a ladybird. Beautiful painting. And he's also done this ship with a sharp little moon and beautiful elements in there over the water. And uh, Tammy Biddle has done a tutorial of mine learning how to do details. He's done a wonderful job there. And uh, this one is John Dement. Oh, how do you pronounce that name? Damento. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I think that's it. Oh, and this one here from Jennifer Sheldon. Beautiful one of a cat. Lovely. Love the way she's done that. Excellent job. So they are all paintings from my patrons that were sent in over the week. And if you are a patron of mine, you're welcome to send me... If you've sent me something already, send something different for the next week's show, okay? It's great to have you acknowledged in my show here. Now, we've got 34 people there. Good stuff. I better have some more of my coffee. I love the self-portrait, says Tammy Bill. Thank you, Tammy, says Janice. Just tilt. Back a bit might help. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Mouldy. Good on you, Mouldy. Mouldy, Mouldy. Hey, Mouldy, give me me lighter back, you bastard. You got me lighter, Mouldy. Not your lighter. Ah, nice job. Steve Gonzo, love the ladybug. And really love the shit, just beautiful. As Steve's left the chat, he had to go. Um, Tammy, I think I messed up the moon reflection that I added I don't think so. It looks quite nice. You did it all right there, Timmy. They are all really great. Thank you, Susan. They all look great. All the patrons' picks are awesome, says Janice Burns. Okay, uh, what else can I address in here? Ask me questions. This is mainly about questions as well. If you have something that you want to address, comment below. If you're watching the replay, ask me a question there. Uh, when questions warrant an answer, they get an answer, but all comments are acknowledged and liked by myself. Okay, this is a super chat. If you can afford it, there's a dollar sign there. You can you can send in a donation there as well, okay? And uh, now all my paintings, tutorials are for sale. Message me on Facebook uh, regarding a purchase of one. Payments are done through PayPal. And there is a link below to show you just exactly what paintings of mine are available, all right? And if you want to appear in one of my paintings, it's a matter of you sending me a video of yourselves, and, um, but I'll message you if you're interested. You need to message me and say, listen, I want to go and I want to be in one of your videos. How do I go about it? And it's pretty much 
a part where if you've watched my videos and I'm painting away and go, oh, all right, let's whack a frame on it. It's a bit where I incorporate you people in and, and it, I cut across to you and you might say, oh, g'day, how you going? I'm Marty Marfison from Martyville and I'm, I'm just about to go shopping and um, buy some paintbrushes and stuff and whatever. It's a lovely day here. Talk a bit about yourself. And uh, oh, you know what? I reckon it's time for Ian to whack a bloody frame on it. Oh, you don't have to say bloody, but it's time for Ian to whack a frame on it. And that gets edited into my YouTube video. And there's also a waiver you need to say as well, where you could just stand in front of your camera, excuse me, and just state your name and where you are from. And you're giving me permission to use your image and sound in my videos, okay? That way I've got your permission. And you're credited in the videos, in the in the intros and outros as well. And um, you're also credited in, in the comments when I post it up as well on my Facebook page and Art Group Network. Sandra is saying thank you for the all the detail you give. You're welcome, Sandra. Is it okay to use synthetic brush for oil painting? I'm not sure, uh, Genevi, because I don't do oils. Never have and I probably never will. Um, so you'll have to ask somebody who's dealt with oils before. Send Ian a message in Messenger. You can attach your photo there, says Janice Burns. Yes, if someone wants to know how to send me a picture, just go to Messenger and you can go down the bottom and it says add a photo. Click that. And then go onto your computer, wherever your photo is, inst where is installed, wherever it's sitting, and click on that and click send, and it'll go across, okay, to me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, upload them to Facebook. Or you can just upload it on Facebook and tag me uh, and say, I want, I'm one of your patrons. I want you to use this photo. That way as well you're getting my attention, okay? You can do it that way. Moldy saying, Ian, can we do more tutorials with primary colours? Only so you can teach us colouring, mixing on the fly. Yes, I can. When I'm doing a bit of colouring, like I think it was this one by memory, I've, I've gone into a bit of colouring with that. So there's a bit of help in all my tutorials, whether you uh, notice it or not, they are there. I do have one on the understanding your greens, but... Um, when I can look into that and have the time, I can do that there mouldy because uh, it takes time to research those sort of videos. And as you know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. i got to work my roofing job before I do the art. And then when I'm free, guess what I'm doing? Art, nothing else. I give up a social life. It's like I give up a social life just to do art, but I love it. It's beautiful. I'll put this back on there with the tape. So where are we? Thank you for that mouldy. Carol Clifford says, uh, is there something you can add to acrylic paint to get a sheen or water for water or wet scenes? I'm not sure because I don't use too many mediums. You'd have to ask your, um, see I'm only using the paint itself, a bit of water and the retarder. If I used quite a lot of different mediums, I can answer that more properly for you. But if there's someone else there that knows of a medium that gives your acrylic paint a wet sheen, you can answer that for Carol Clifford's. And now Linda Strawn is asking, can you tell me the brand of retarder you use, the brand name and the one for your tutorials? The brand of retarder I use is Jusonjays and Atelier. It's a clear medium retarder. And the can consistency of it looks like baby oil but it is not baby oil but it just looks like baby oil it's clear medium retarder just Sanjay's or Atelier thank you Ian and others I appreciate your help uh, you will see my painting in the future that would be so fun says Paula Neary you're welcome Paula John Mouldy thanks mate Tammy Biddle I use glazing medium. There you go, there's a glazing medium that'll give your paints some glaze. I have seen in my art shop here, maybe over where you are, it might have it as well. They've had some paints dobbed on a board and they've got written under it what medium has been added to it and showing you the effect it has on your paint. Um, look for something like that in your proper art supply store as well. 
and people want to ask me about that round sponge I use on a stick. Over here we call it a pouncer, but they're called a stippler as well. And you find them in most $2 shops or crafty shops or hobby shops, okay? Uh, your art supply shop might have them, but then again they might not as well. And places like Office Works, where they sell stationery for businesses, they have an art section. Look in there as well. I prefer not, says Tammy. Yeah, that's going on about the glazing meeting. Karen Porridge. On the Facebook page under albums, is there one for Ian's traceables there? Uh, actually, there isn't, but you know what? I should make one there. That's what I'll do. That way I can link it. So I'm going to write that down because I don't have a link for it, but I can make a link for my traceables. So I'll make an album in my Facebook album traceable thank you very much for that who said that there Karen Porridge good idea see when they come across they help us all out here so that's going to help a lot of people out being able to go directly to my traceables <laughs> some I'm glad some messages get held for Rebu I'm truly thankful Trish I live on YouTube with my da 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 drinking wine. Oh, you poor person. <laughs> All right. I'll hide that one as well. Yeah, uh, okay, I use glazing medium. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Where are we? Album, read that one. Zinc white may be used. It's more transparent, but I have never used it, says Tammy Biddle. Now, who we got here? Katie, oh, you. I'm sorry, uh, where are we? I just got to remove somebody, hide user from this channel, Katie Middlefinger, she's trying to be a, a disgusting, dirty person, and we don't need that on here. This user's message has been hidden, there we go. All right, now I need to, is there a way? I put this user okay i've got it off there all together yep every now and then when we go live we get some i don't know who they are but they're just got to be disgusting stupid weird people bev sawyer's awesome idea everyone to get without bugging you yeah that's a great idea about the traceable so i will put a link in my description lot next time and there'll be an album on my facebook page where i have an album with my artwork i have an album with my artwork for sale now, there will be an album for my traceables relating to all my tutorials. Okay. I need to block. How do I block that person? Okay. Pounce is here too at Michael's, said Cracker Box. Heather Nicole, Ian, can you buy high gloss in a tube from your art shop? The colourless and can blend with any colour, makes it shiny. Well, obviously, Heather Nicole is. I didn't know you can do that. You can buy a high gloss in a tube. It's clear and you add it to any paint. That's pretty much like the impasto we have here, but um, it does give it a little bit of a sheen. It increases the volume of your paint. Okay. Where are we here? 32 people are watching. Don't forget, I'll just let you know once again, this is a super chat. Hit the dollar sign if you want to send me a donation. Slide the bar to the amount you want to send me, okay? every cent people send me and purchasing my paintings is much appreciated and it goes into all my um, studio there buying bits and pieces hi ian i want to tell everyone please watch your video color water colorful water scene ian great on blending techniques thank you for all you do love them thank you very much maureen maureen lippincott thank you very much love the feedback there do we have any more questions from people there uh, this is all about q a as well uh, if we don't we've been going for 68 minutes so a bit over an hour and 10 minutes nearly so we'll start wrapping it up and um we'll be back next week so if there I'll, I'll hang around for maybe a minute or two just to see or and then we'll get going thanks for keeping the weird comment out paula neary i'm just here for art and to enjoy others the same interests. Absolutely, you don't need disgusting comments. Thank you for being on top of that. You're welcome, Nance. Paula Neary. 
now th those those ones are held for review and I, I like to give them a quick scan and if they're nothing to do with the art they're gone and if sometimes people start sneaking their way into the chat you think it's a real person but it's someone stupid and disgusting then they start getting stupid and filthy and turn into a grub so then i've got to first block them and then remove them and then put them in time out there's a yeah but it's all good thank you for your time ian says debbie greer and susan janaki thank you ian all right so we'll start wrapping it up i've just finished my coffee Thank you everybody for watching my show. If you're watching the repeat of this, comment below if you have any um, ideas for me to do in my up and coming shows. Okay, uh, good night everybody. So it's really ready an album with traceables in. Is there already an album with traceables in? No, there is not. Check out the date. If you're watching this YouTube video, check out the date it was posted. After this date onwards, there will be a link for my traceables and it'll be an album in my Facebook page. Uh, if you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, send me a friend request, uh, but you need to tell me that you've met me on YouTube. If you don't say that, your friend request will not be accepted, but if you tell me you met me on YouTube, I know you're a real person and you will be accepted, okay? Because there's so many fake things going on out there on the internet. Love your style, you're such a great teacher. Gotta run, see you next week. Yes, we'll be all running now. Linda Strawn, Paul Neary, see you next week. Good night, everybody. So happy to join everything. Hope it's a great weekend for you, Ian. You're welcome. All right, so where do we go here? Wrong. I wanna say goodbye, good luck, and good on ya. Um, where do I end this on my iPhone now? Just bear with me. Must be that. No, no, cancel that. Sorry, because I'm used to using the desktop. Here we go up here. Okay, uh, are you sure you want to end the live stream? Yes, I am. All right, so it's Uru from 